I'm so glad that this year, our 40th year, is when we can bring the 2050 and the 186 to market. Success breeds success. The 1850 has been phenomenal. The 1860 was introduced last year as a more fishing version of the 1850. Those two combined have just surpassed anything that uh, we thought would happen, both in sales and in customer satisfaction. The 2050 is going to appeal to the person that's wanting a bigger boat. Uh, people move up in size in boats. They want to go further, they want to take more people. Whatever the case may be, boats get bigger. The main benefits of the 2050 is its size, it's a bigger boat, it's got a lot of room for passengers in it, uh, it's a fishing boat, it'll handle uh, kicker motors, it's got good rod storage in it, a lot of dry storage, and it's a real rough water boat. The 186, on the other hand, is really a move sideways to a, to a more uh, diversified, a little bit different floor plan than the 1850, more appealing to perhaps the more traditional fish and play type boat. If you're looking at the 186 and you take from the rub rail in, the cockpit area, this boat, it really ties back to those fish and play virtues that we established early on, which gives you just a little bit more fish than play, but yet you've still got room for the entire family. You've got the protection of walk-through windshields and convertible tops. Additionally, it's the recirculated live wells. It's the insulated cooler. It's the dry storage area. It's generally not seen in other comparable models. 